Righto, let's play. What's in the boot? This boot's actually pretty bad. So in our travels, I might try and buy a better boot, but we might just um, make a spoiler for this one. Like a this little bobtail one or something. We'll see what it looks like when it's lowered, and we'll work out what we're gonna do, because it's not worth doing a really good repair job on this because it's bad, but we can do a modification to it, perhaps. Right, anyway. <laughs> the main event. A couple of bits of cushion. Nothing really exciting. What's that? That's part of a grill. I hope that's not the only bit of grill we've got. We can make a custom grill but some fan belts, some leads, electrical crap. Ooh, hopefully that's one of the covers for around the steering column, which would be great. And that. That looks like an inner, inner guard thing in the front guards, so that'll be good. That'll hide some more rust. There's another trim piece that's is that broken. It is, but that, that that means we can we might get if we know what we need or what it looks like. At least we can buy it when we go to a swap meet or something. So there's nothing great in there, which is a shame. But around here is pretty good, which is a bonus. It's not rusty in there, it doesn't seem to be rusty in the boot. So, yeah, the boot lid sucks, but I think it'll be good because we'll make a spoiler, like a drag style spoiler, do it real low. It's already long, so this quarter's not too bad. Maybe we should kick it in just so I don't spoil myself. Right, let's go through. I've got one door trim out already. We'll go through the inside and see what we can find. Running out of daylight, but what I've found is these sill molds are going to help us with that rust repair because I don't have to worry too much about doing it real well. But they will actually sit there and help us out there a lot. So there's two of those that were in the car. A grill. So that's the centre bit of the grill, the centre bit of the steering wheel. We've got the um, rear door trim. I've gone through these molds here, seem to be the ones for the gutter there. And I think I've found, we've well, got two side ones for here, that one and that one, but there's a corner piece missing. But we've still got these boxes here to go through. Like, the guy I got this off, he's a Ford bloke, we won't hold that against him. But he really done me a solid, like the back seat was covered. I can't see, I'll show you tomorrow in the daylight, but it's, he covered all the seats and that, put carpet on it, keep them out of the weather. He's got a mint one of these that is a sedan. I might give him a call and we'll go check his um, sedan out and yeah, show you a really nice sedan in these. It's a green one, it's mint, mint. Um, right, running out of daylight though. I'll get these boxes out. We'll go through these in the morning and hopefully we've got headlight rings and stuff like that and the other bits of the dash and some of these quarter lights. Um, the more I'm looking, the more confident I am now. I was a little bit, when I pulled this out and saw all that rust, I just went, holy shit, no way. But, um, yeah, excited. It's going to be good. It's going to be a mad road trip, this one. In a complete turd box. In the daylight, this has come up pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah. The hose under here is a little bit split for the fuel line. Um, in the radiators, terrible. So I'm not going to put water in that yet. Um, I'm going to try and see what radiators I can find to put in there so I don't have to buy one. But I will buy one if I have to. It looks to me to be the same as like holding six cylinder, so I've got a brand new aluminium one there in stock for HRs. Um, righto, so the back floor looks pretty good because there's no carpet there. Um, that door trim's there. I'm just looking now, it's actually electric window rear and it needs door handles, so yeah, there's still stuff on the floor down there. This is a box of bolts, which is great. Um, this is the rest of our grill, which is good. So there's the grill surrounds. We've got lights in here, reflectors, the back ones. Oh, 
lot, the window switch for the back, armrests for the back, um, headlight buckets, which is great with headlights. I might buy some H4s instead of sealed beams. And there's more bumper bar brackets in the bottom of there. This is the stuff from yesterday, so there's our door trim. So that's all good. And on the in the glove box, there's the corner strips for around the windscreen, which is great. We'll leave them in there for now. Um, and on the floor, it's just miscellaneous crap. Shift the boots around. Another thing for the over the steering column, which is awesome. Ashtray. Um, yeah, so there's a few bits and pieces there, which will be handy. Oh, there's the aircon um, temperature setting and whatever you want to call it. So yeah, so that's pretty good. I'll leave all that stuff there for now because I don't really have anywhere to put it. We'll pack up all these strips um, and we'll put this in on the hoist. I found the front bar last night while I was hunting around. It was up on the mezzanine floor. It's a little bit rough, but at least it exists. So that gives us the strips for along the sills. Most of our strips for windows, windscreens, We've got that cow panel there, which is sitting here. So there's that cow panel for across the front. And that there is for the grill mount. That one there, it's a little bit bent, but we can dolly that back into shape. I think we've pretty much got everything. We're pretty right. Um, set those strips. It's a bit of rust in here. We've got windscreen wipers this stuff away um, I might clean this out before I put it back inside and then we will get it running driver in I'm gonna get it up on the hoist and I'm gonna try and bleed the brakes up and hopefully they bleed up I'll put that fluid in I, I reckon we're coming along well the dash is a real worry you can see see through the dash there it's real bad but I can repair that panel easy. You can bog that and we can we can do like, um, can you remember what I'd done on that courier ute, what was it called, um, flocking? We can flock the dash to make it pretty good. So we'll pull all that apart, bog it, fiberglass, make it nice. And then that, that actually, ah, look at that. Almost catches fire if that gets that hot. Okay, well that's not bad at all. That was an easy fix. That was just carpet sat on there, which is great. All right, this dash is going to be a bit of a mission, but I'll actually enjoy doing that. Okay. All right, so, did we select the right car? It looked a bit bad when we first pulled it out of there, but I'm sta it's starting to really grow on me. We've got a fair few nights fixing that rust in the bottom there, but the rest of it's not too bad. So, yeah, the back bar's a bit shitty too, so I might my color code the bars, perhaps, or do them black. I don't know what colour to paint it, so painting it, I don't know, do, do I even bother, do I, do we try and blow up his car or something, um, I don't know, do we even bother trying to paint it or do we just do a bit of silver patch up and make it as clean as we can, Jesus Christ, righto, I'll do this while he blows that up, alright, here we go, so, yeah, it's, I've cleaned out in there, got all the leaves and stuff out. I'll have to pressure wash it later. Um, we're going to see now if it starts because I wet the shit out of this yesterday. We need a battery. One second. Righto. Here we go. What's it going to do? Key's not even going to turn. Why do I do this shit? Oh. needs me worried about the water I should have been worried about the bloody um ignition there we go steering lock modern technology what's she gonna do wow I'm amazed at that straight away right oh let's get it in on the hoist is it it's gonna come up good like I, I, I've seen it this morning half clean and the little bits we've done it's gonna to come together good. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. Right, so brakes are bled up. The front's bled up a bit. This rear one bled up and the um, 
the nipple for the bleeder snapped on that side. So good enough to drive it if I have to. Jake's just talked me into trying wheels on. So I bought these ages ago. Um, they're multi-fit, so they're Ford and Hot. I don't have a lot of Ford wheels, so I'm gonna stick a couple of them on this side. And see what they look like, see if they fit. Um, it's not quite the look I was going for, but we'll put them on, see what they look like. I'm not sure what I think of them, but it'll look better outside, I suppose. It needs to be lowered about four foot. The back one, though, the fitment on it's pretty wild. But the fitment's a bit, yeah, sticky out here. Yeah, Jake reckons I should put a smaller tyre on, but it's already got tyres on it. I don't know. It definitely looks better than what it does on the other side. I think once it's lowered, oh, this side just looks terrible. I don't know. It's an option. I sort of, I, I wanted to buy a set of these, these wheels here, but in a big staggered set to put on it. To actually, yeah, but it's got a big bit of meat from the back now. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, righto, we'll see where it ends up. Definitely not my favorite thing to do in the workshop, which is degrease it and pressure wash underneath the car, but um, I want to pull the front end apart, so I've got to chop the springs to lower it. Um, there's a small oil leak that I can see out of the reverse switch. The center bearing needs replacing. Uh, all this is pretty good. I've got to pull the brakes apart in the back because of that broken bleeder. But the floors don't look too bad. They're not that rusty, but I'm going to pressure wash them. I thought what was rust was actually, it's just some sort of paint. Like that's still solid, but it's some sort of deadness. So we're going to pressure wash a lot of that off now and see what we've got. Exhaust will have to be replaced. I'm hoping to save the headers and I'll come from here with a two and a half inch system or something back. Um, but we just want to get all this clean. Most of the steering components seem okay, but we're not doing a restoration. We're doing a getting going and then hopefully not breaking down but anyway righto pressure washer in let's pressure wash it see what it comes up like okay so it's wet everywhere but it's far from clean but it's also you got to get some of the gunk off to be able to work on it and see what you're dealing with the floors are actually quite good still i haven't found any terrible bits still a lot of chunk a lot of you know like you can see into the ball joints now and they're not too bad even the tie rods and stuff are actually better than what I thought they were. I'll grease them up. There's not a lot of movement in them. So at least you can see that now. I'll put shocks in it front and rear, because you have to. The clutch line, I don't know if I'll even bother playing with it. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's gonna be all right. But yeah, it's just, it's a lot cleaner now. I can get into the bolts and stuff. So take the stupid airline thing off, take the tow bar off too. Um, we're getting there. It's, yeah. It takes a while just to get them to a point where you can actually work on them. You can actually get them clean enough to actually do something with them. So, yeah, and most of the major rust is just these sills, which is fine. It's, yeah, there's a lot of filler. Like there's that wheel arch there, which is pretty bad. But um, this guard here is not the best too. Looks like it's been hitting the front. It's got some filler in it. But she's never gonna be a show car. I just want it to drive, make it to Victoria. So yeah, undecided about those wheels, but we'll find other stuff around and try them on as we go, and go from there. Righto. Oh, it's Savannah's birthday yesterday, so I've got to go to Brisbane apparently for dinner. So I'm going to pack this up now and have a shower, and getting picked up to go to Brisbane. Exciting stuff. Playing wheels again. There is a set of 18 inch GT Hustlers and um, Street Pro 2s. These are for the Fairlane, so these got a pretty aggressive um, backspace, so it's, yeah, three and a half inch backspace, so I don't think they'll fit, but see what they look like. Yeah, so, right, uh, let's lift them on, see what they're gonna do. It's only the rears I've got to worry about, the fronts, the front runners for the Street Pro, so they'll definitely fit, and these are a, um, a square set, so they're the same all the way around, so let's get them on, see what they look like. I like them, but they're just way too big. A mad dish to them, but when you look at the offset, it's just um, too much. Just yeah, way too much. As you can see, I don't really want to put flared guards on it. Th these wheels are for the fair lane anyway. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of room in the back there because yeah, they're a standard 8 inch. Actually, I got a weld wheel out the back. I might go grab it as well. 
they fit like fit in behind the with the offset but I'm not too sure about them yeah don't know I just think they look too too new school for what the car is even lowered I just don't think they'll work I just I think they're too new school looking right I might go grab this um um weld wheel and um bring that back in and put that on I'm old but I do love my weld wheels and drag lights that just yeah I don't know maybe I should just buy a set of drag light, um, drag lights for it what do you reckon that'll look good just tucking the tire doesn't need a massive tire the offsets terrible as well yeah it seems like it has a lot of room in the back but just not a lot at the front but it's probably better than what they were but yeah I do like weld wheels I don't know what do you guys reckon welds will just give it that period correct wheel for the time even though they're an American wheel and it's a Japanese car but yeah I like it anyway righto what's next to fix on it after playing wheels realized that I don't have any but I've decided on a set of I think they're called drag stars There's a cross between sort of a pro star a convo pro sort of mix up sort of thing so a staggered set of them so I'm going to buy them, but we've got progress. The, the windscreen, when Jake was here the other day, we're getting it out. I said, mate, if I can't get a windscreen for this car, it's not even worth doing. And my windscreen guy couldn't get any. The coupes are different to the sedans, apparently, but I'm getting one made in Vietnam for it at the moment. So it's a couple of months away, which is fine. So it just means that I won't rush this thing now. I'll go through and do it properly. So what I'm doing right now is come out here i'm putting a set of wheels the same as that on it so i'm um in the midst of taking wheels got wheels off an el out the front move them up there's another one here but there's a ba out here that i bought the other day that's got a good set of wheels with good tires on it so that way we can move this thing around we can take it for a drive and have decent tires on it get the brakes working properly get them driving and go from there so i'm still moving forward with it windscreen holds us up a bit but it realistically in between work and doing everything it's going to take me a couple of months to get this car done so yeah scrap run went out so you can see there's a big empty patch over here now there was a big massive pile of cars there so that's gone um yeah so i'm pulling the wheels off this one because it's got good tires put a shit set of wheels and tires on this because it doesn't matter it's just a donor car um and i've started cleaning up out the front so come down here and i'll show you i ordered these blocks here months and months ago so i've ordered 10 of them i can only they're they're way a ton each so you can only sort of move four at a time on the truck so i've got 10 of them which will run all the way along here and i've done a job for a bloke over there and he has heaps of rocks at his place and um he wants a set of forks to build forks for his bobcat similar to that so i'm gonna dig those into there i don't know whether i should just buy a second one and just use them as the as the top wall but I, I planned on putting them there and then putting rocks on top. But I'm thinking I might just spend the money and do it easily. And yeah, so. But anyway, yeah, scrap run's gone out, which is good. It's all sort of gone. There's a couple, two left, that one and that one. Um, I've just got to clean this area out better. Those jags that are there, I'm going to pull the front and rear ends out of them. Um, and then the wiper motor mechanisms. And that's about it, really. The rest of it, I think, can go. So if anyone wants any jag stuff, please get in touch with me and I'll work it out. Other good news is when I was going through, I was talking about rotaries, which car to use. A guy that I have been speaking to for a while about a couple of um, Mazda 1000 utes I've got here. He's down in Sydney, so the transport cost of movement was so high. He's got a 12A and a five speed there, um, come out of a series one RX-7. So we've done a deal and I'm gonna go for a trip down to Sydney with the two utes. Um, See, so I've got to give him some money as well, but um, yeah, these two utes here, because he's got quite a few clean and tidy ones. So we'll go drop these off. He needs the parts. Um, he sent me photos of one he painted recently. It looks really tidy. So we'll go down and have a look at the ones he's building. So these two here, I've got to go. So hopefully that trip will happen before Christmas. And yeah, so I'll get these wheels off. 
get them on the Datsun and we'll drive that thing, I think. That's the next bet. I want to get it off the hoist because I've got some other stuff to do. Um, I've got a fan for this thing, so that should sell next week, hopefully. Yeah, it's all happening and we're moving forward, which is absolutely phenomenal. So, yeah. If anyone knows where there's any of these L200 utes, I'm keen to buy a few more. Little um, Mitsubishi L200s. <laughs> yeah, those. And I've got to get a few more Brumbies too over the next couple of months. So, anyway, it's never ending playing my games. And I did message Paul um, from Mad Race Engines. You'll get to know Paul soon. Paul's got a um, Mini with a V8 in it. He actually ran farm truck in that um, Street Outlaws thing about, because I've already got a box built for the Mexicana and that thing's not rusty. So I'm thinking about getting it together because there's a lot of little modifications that are going to be done to that thing. So I'm going to assemble it all, get it going, get it running and driving. So I've got a 265 there and he's, he's like the king of Hemis. So even though it's a six cylinder one, but he's just a phenomenal engine builder. So we'll go over and see Paul and check out what he's doing. He's got a Capri drag car. He's been, he just had painted as well. Um, yeah, you'll really enjoy Paul. He's very knowledgeable and a top bloke. Anyway, let's get these wheels swapped over and um, yeah, get something done this afternoon. I hope. Mosquitoes will be out soon.